Hey, what's up, boxing fans? Miguel Maravilla here with you, bringing you a preview of this Mexican showdown between Saul Canelo Alvarez and Jaime Munguia. You got Guadalajara versus Tijuana. You got Saul Canelo Alvarez representing Guadalajara. You got Fighting Pride of Tijuana, Jaime Munguia. You got Cinco de Mayo weekend, an all out Mexican showdown. These are the matchups. This is what it is all about. These are the fights that everyone wants to see. You got two Mexican fighters. These are always the best fights. This fight, I mean, you have Mexico's best fighting Mexico's up and coming fighter. It's a uh, boxer puncher versus puncher. You got Canelo. He has uh, the style. He has been through it all. Munguia, he's on his way up. He wants to be Mexico's next great champion. Here it is to prove it all. Cinco de Mayo weekend going down Saturday, May 4th. Take a look. Going down Saturday, May 4th. Cinco de Mayo weekend. As it's a Mexican showdown as Saul Canelo Alvarez of Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico takes on Tijuana, Mexico's own Jaime Munguia. Taking place at the T-Mobile Arena live on Prime Pay-Per-View. For Jaime Munguia, with a record of 43 and 0, 34 knockouts, the former WBO Super Welterweight Champion, the pride of Tijuana. He won his first world title with a fourth round knockout of Saddam Ali, bursting onto the scene. He successfully defended his title five times and then campaigned at middleweight, then made the move to super middleweight and last year, he edged out Sergey Dervinchenko in a fight that saw him rally to come back and knock down Sergey Dervinchenko to secure the decision win. And he is coming off an impressive stoppage of John Ryder. As he stopped Ryder in his last fight, that taking place in Phoenix. Now he gets set for the challenge to take on Mexico's best Mexican superstar, Saul Canelo Alvarez, with a record of 60 and two, two draws, 39 knockouts in Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. The undisputed super middleweight champion. His only defeats came at the hands of Dimitri Bivol as he campaigned at light heavyweight. And back in 2013, his first defeat at the hands of Floyd Mayweather Jr. A multi-division world champion, an impressive resume. He uh, won a uh, clear one-sided unanimous decision over Jermile Charlo in his last fight last September. Now he's set to take on Munguia in an all-out Mexican showdown. This is going to be a, a fight in which you're possibly going to see both guys score a knockdown early. It's going to be a, you know, a knockdown early like in the second and then let's say uh, the following round or a few rounds later, you get another knockdown and then the respect starts to show in the ring you're gonna see the both fighters uh cautiously uh boxing after that however in this fight i really think it's gonna be the experience that prevails of course saul canelo alvarez he has been in all the major fights he has been in all the major events but again munguia he uh this is his moment this is his time it's his time to prove that he wants to be uh mexico's next great champ what better way than to take out Canelo? But in this fight, again, I truly see this fight where they're going to go all out. It's going to be a very fast paced fight early on. But after they're going to, it's going to be a, a cautious fight. But uh, I, I don't know what type of victory it's going to be. But again, I see Canelo winning this fight, but it's going to be the experience that prevails. But again, 
you cannot count out Jaime Munguia. He does have a puncher's chance. Anything can happen, but it will be a good one. Trust me.